How do you prevent a problematic family life? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Dear anak, kumusta na ang aking bunsoy? Okay na okay kami ni Papa. Masaya talaga dito. Lagi ka nga naming naaalala eh. Balang araw, dadaling ka namin dito. Magaan naman ang work ko. Pati kay Papa. Kaya huwag kang mag-aalala sa amin ha. Dear anak, Merry Christmas! Eto, excited na kami makuha mo yung mga padala namin sa'yo. Pinag-ipunan namin yan, ha? Sana magkasya. Ang laki mo na ata, eh. Hi, anak. Magpapas ko na naman. Sana, magusto mo mong Christmas gifts namin. Sorry, ha? Di pa rin kami makakauwi. Hayaan mo anak, gagawa namin ni Papa ng paraan. Anak, yung gift na gusto mo, abangan mo, parating na. Ano rin niya, regalong hinihiling niya? Diba? Jollibee tayo parang dati. Eto na! Picture mo tayo! Nothing compares to the joy of Christmas when it is celebrated with family. Today is the feast day of the Holy Family. It is celebrated on the Sunday following the birth of Jesus. We have a myriad of readings that can be reflected upon, and of course our Gospel reading today, which shows the encounter of Simeon with the Holy Family in the Temple of Jerusalem. Their visit to the Temple was to fulfill the rite of purification observed by the Jews after childbirth of a mother. There is also the customary offering of a lamb, but since they could not afford such, they gave instead two pigeons as an offering of the poor. This plus the circumcision rite represent the Jews' appreciation to God of the gift of children. Let me just point out the significance of the encounter with Simeon. He prophesied that Mary would undergo much pain in the life of Jesus. Our families go through peaks and valleys too, though not to the extent that Mary went through. As parents, raising our children is a big joy, but also a big challenge. As they grow up, our children are exposed to different people and situations that will forever impact their lives. More importantly, the quality of our family life will be the foundation of our children's future. We may be imperfect parents, but we can draw some lessons from the life of the Holy Family. First, they were a devout family in worshiping God. They religiously visited the temple and were ideal Jews. Our families must also be steeped in prayer. We can only be as strong a family and as individuals if we constantly draw on the fountain of grace. Prayer is our shield in the field of life. Second, 
Parenting is a teaching and learning experience. We all want to protect our children and spare them from harm, especially in their childhood. But like Mary and Joseph, there will come a time when we must slowly loosen the reins and release our children to the world. Our prayers and the values we have taught them in their formative years assure us that wherever they go, whatever they face, they will be able to comport themselves well. Third, disappointments and difficulties are aplenty. Our children will go through a phase of rebelling. For some families, it will be severe. For others, such can be tolerated. Jesus' getting lost and being found in the temple in the company of the Jewish teachers can be likened to this phase where our children desire more freedom. When our children get sick, it is a source of anxiety. When they encounter trouble in school, when they have problems in their work, and even in their marriages, they may continue to run back to us for wisdom. Fourth, nurturing our families begins with our relationship as husband and wife. It will be difficult to expect love and respect from our children if they see us constantly quarreling. If we do things that we forbid them to do, they will follow our example and not our words. Not much is known about Joseph. He may have died early on before Jesus went on his public ministry, but we get the impression that Jesus turned out the way he did as a human being because Joseph and Mary showed each other unconditional love. From the time Joseph committed himself to be the husband of a pregnant Mary, not of his own seed, to all the sacrifices he made to make Mary comfortable and felt loved as they went from one place to another to escape Herod, to the simple act of bringing Mary and Jesus to the temple for worship regularly, Joseph was an exemplary family head. Joseph the carpenter certainly built a home for his family. As we celebrate the feast of the Holy Family, let us offer our own families to God. It is never too late to be a family. Our efforts will always be blessed. God's grace is all we need. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, you said in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 20, to observe my father's bidding and not to reject my mother's teaching. Allow me and my family to obey your commandments and be like the holy family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.